Are you planning to travel to Europe? So it's good to keep an eye on the new entry and exit rules that the European Union has started to implement. Whether you are a traveler from countries like Brazil, Angola, United States, India, or others, whether you intend to travel to the old continent, it's good to stay with us until the end of the video. With the introduction of the entry and exit system and the European Travel Information and Authorization System, EDIUS, the European Union, aims to increase security and efficiency in border control. With this, the physical stamp and passports will be replaced by electronic records, requiring prior travel authorization. We will also have the implementation of the input-output system called SES that will reinforce the safety and management of the external borders of the Schengen area that we will understand in detail. In this way, the European Union hopes to control something that has been a very controversial topic in recent years, which is the migratory flow, and to monitor the arrivals and departures of travelers more efficiently. Let's now understand in detail what these changes could affect on your next trips. What is the Schengen area? If you are still confused about the subject, we will help you better understand what this area would be to make it easier to understand the new changes. The Schengen area is a region of 27 European countries that have abolished internal border controls, thus allowing the free movement of people between countries as if it were a single territory. For the space of free movement to be created, the Schengen Agreement was assigned in 1985, which was signed between the countries that are currently made up of members of the European Union but also some countries outside the EU are part of the Schengen area. Before continuing to talk about the changes, I would like to ask you to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. What is the entry and exit system, EES? Okay, but what would this European Union entry and exit system necessarily be? The ESS is a new initiative aimed at modernizing border control in countries that are part of the European Union. This system is intended to replace physical stamps with electronic records detailing all entries and exits of travelers from third countries. This way, every time a traveler enters or leaves a country that is part of the European Union, their information will automatically be registered in the system, improving border security. For example, with this system, it will be possible to identify who has exceeded the permitted limit of stay. Another highlight is that with this initiative, dependence on manual processes will be reduced, in addition to minimizing human errors, being an important step for the European Union to modernize the management of its borders. When does SS implementation start? Now that you have a better understanding of how the new immigration process will work, you may wonder if these new measures are already in use, but this new system is only expected to be implemented in the European autumn of this year. 2024. Quite possibly the release date will be in October. The schedule aims to ensure that all members of the European Union are prepared to adopt the new technology simultaneously. The idea is that all of this is a gradual process, allowing countries to gradually adapt to the new requirements. It is expected that during this period, immigration authorities will receive training focused on learning how to operate the new system. The goal is that by the end of 2024, all land borders, seaports, and airports will have the system implemented. Until the EES is fully operational, travelers can expect an immigration process where both physical stamp and electronic registration methods are used. In this way, the strategy is to keep border operations running without interruptions while adapting to new changes. System details. will have to register biometric data, photos, and fingerprints. Furthermore, control will be stricter and monitored. If the limit of days to stay in the country is not respected, travelers may have to pay a fine and deal with other penalties. In return, citizens of member countries of the European Union or the Schengen area will continue to enjoy the freedom to move between member countries. They will not go through the SES electronic registration. By the way, immigrating to another country whether to Portugal, which is our main focus, or anywhere else, is not easy, especially if you don't speak the local language. And if you don't, you should consider downloading the app, 
we recommend to learn Portuguese fast and enjoy seven days free of charge. Link in the description. Advantages of is. Okay, but with these changes that are being applied in the coming months, the question remains as to what the advantages would be. The first point of improvement already mentioned in the video would be the improvement in border security and efficiency. This is perhaps one of the main reasons why the European Union seeks to change things. With reinforced and more attentive security, monitoring would be more rigorous and detailed, providing greater certainty in checking travelers who need to pass through there, in addition to making the use of falsified documents more difficult. In this way, the EES system will have greater accuracy in quickly detecting those who may pose a threat to security, such as terrorists or criminals, and other prohibited activities. Another advantage would also be to minimize possible human errors during bureaucratic processes, in addition to speeding up the immigration process, allowing for a more efficient flow and shorter waiting times. Disadvantages of ES But as not everything is perfect, the implementation of the EES is not pleasing to everyone and raises concerns for some. Although the transition is something that will happen gradually, the news is already raising debates among travelers and people who will be involved in these changes. The first point that's generating debate is about the technical and logistical complexity that this can cause. Some claim that countries with more limited financial resources may also face challenges when installing the necessary equipment, which can cause delays. Another detail is about data and privacy, some fear data protection, showing that it will be necessary to ensure that there are no violations and misuse. Some travelers have also expressed concerns about the additional costs that the new procedures may bring. So, do you think the EES system will improve or worsen immigration control? Tell us in the comments. Exceptions and Specificities even though the initiative is quite comprehensive across various borders, there are some exceptions and specificities that are important to highlight, as two European Union countries will not adopt the new changes. One of them is Cyprus, and the second is Ireland. Both countries are not part of the Schengen area, and thus chose to participate in the Schengen area. So the countries will continue to follow their immigration policies. So electronic registration will not be required. Another detail is that the EES will also be applied in countries that are not part of the Schengen area, but that have special agreements with the European Union, which is the case of Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland. ETS. Now that we understand the EES, we need to explain the ETS system. What exactly would that be? The European Travel Information and Authorization System, ETIS is also an initiative of the European Union to strengthen border control and improve security. ETIS is an electronic travel authorization system, which focuses on travelers who are citizens of third countries that have visa exemptions to visit Schengen area countries for short periods. Thus, travelers will have to fill out an online form with personal information and travel details, which will make it possible to analyze the traveler's profile and whether they represent any risk. If approved, the traveler receives authorization to enter countries belonging to the Schengen area. ETIAS Implementation While the ESS is planned to start being used and tested in the European autumn, the ETIAS is scheduled to start being used only in 2025 at borders. The idea is that at the beginning of next year, countries will be able to take their first steps. In the coming months after launch, we will probably have an adaptation period to resolve possible problems that may arise and ensure that everything is running perfectly by the end of 2025. It's worth noting that everything here is still new and may undergo new details and changes, so it's important to subscribe to the channel and leave a link so you don't miss the updates and news. ETIA's process, details. Let's now understand a little more about what the step-by-step -step process will be like to obtain the ETIAs when traveling. As already mentioned, the process will be done entirely online, making it more convenient. So the traveler needs to access the official ETIAS website to access the form where they will fill in personal information, travel history, and even criminal records. Once the form is completed, you will need to review your request, review all the information to ensure that the data is correct, and submit it. It is also necessary to pay a fee of seven euros to process the EDIUS application, which can be done by credit or debit card. The authorization processing time is usually very quick. Once approved, the authorization will be sent electronically to the traveler. Who will be most affected by EDIUS? First, let's start by mentioning the main countries where travelers will have to apply for ETIAS, which are the United States, Canada, Brazil, Australia, Japan, and many others. And who are the main groups affected? Tourists, business travelers, whether for meetings, conferences, or business events, and short-term students. With the issuance of the ETIAS, the authorization will be valid for three years, or until the passport expires, allowing multiple entries across countries. It is good to remember that if you intend to come to the country to stay for longer to live and work, 
it is not advisable to arrive as a tourist and then express your interest in staying, this practice is risky, and today it is possible to apply for a work visa before even leaving your country. Are you considering moving to Portugal but don't know where to start? Our exclusive guide, From Nomad to Neighbor, is here to help. This essential resource will guide you through everything you need to know to live and earn money in Portugal. You can find the link in the description and pinned comment. What will the control procedure be like? With the implementation of EES and EDIAS, some things will change during procedures, whether at land borders, airports, or ports. While the EES will replace the passport stamp with electronic records, travelers with EDIAS must have the authorization issued long before embarking on their trip to the mentioned countries. At ports, procedures are expected to be very similar to those at airports, with verification of passports, documents, and authorizations. When traveling by train between the UK and France, passport and ETS checks will be carried out before boarding. In other words, travelers will have to go through control at the departure terminal, so travelers will not need to go through other additional controls until their final destination. Are there any case study from other countries? of the European Union borders. With all these changes and rules established at borders, what can we expect? It is still too early to say, but the future of border controls is expected to be increasingly dynamic and increasingly evolved, and the implementation of entry and exit systems is expected to be just the beginning of a series of innovations aimed at not only reinforce security, but improve the lives of travelers. If you have ever traveled in Europe, you know that it can often be tiring during the immigration process. We can expect to implement artificial intelligence and machine learning in the future to perform pattern analysis, going far beyond easy recognition and biometrics. Furthermore, quite possibly, not only Europe, but with the examples of the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, more countries and continents will invest in improvements and changes. Well, if you need to travel to a country in the European Union in the next few days, you don't need to worry about all this yet. But if you are planning your next trip after autumn, we recommend that you stay alert to avoid any problems. There may even be new details and changes added, so it's important to stay tuned in the coming months here on the channel. If you still have questions related to ETIAS, you can consult the official website, you can review all the information and have access to more details. If you are still confused about how the process will work for your country, you can also contact your consulate. Did you know that Portugal is also changing its immigration policies? That's why we recommend you watch this video about Portugal Immigration News May 2024 and our playlist about Portugal Immigration News. Click now and I'll see you there. Ciao!